Hello folks, this is Kiki. Uh, this is just a warning, but the quality is not going to be good. Uh, unfortunately, when I upload the YouTube, there is a little bit of where my mouse turns into a black square, and all the text turn really, really tiny and black. Uh, but if you follow my mouse, like I said, it'll be like this big black moving ball. Uh, you should have a general idea of where to look at. So as long as you just follow along the video and follow along with my mouse, uh, you should have an idea about uh, what what you see when you actually log in the game. Uh, the first thing we're going to talk about is how to set up uh, your account. Uh, basically, as you can see here, uh, you have to go into the forums to actually create an account. The login and stuff to the right doesn't work yet, so you have to go into the forums. Now, since I'm already logged in, I have to log out. And uh, pretty much it's standard form procedure here. Just click register, read all the blah, 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 uh, agree. Uh, then go to chit chat here, and then new users post here. Uh, reply to this, reply to that. Uh, if even if you're a new player or you just turn on this video and you played its war for a while, make sure to reply to that because every six months uh, the system will get purged of uh, players who don't post anything. So make sure to post there. Anyway, click. Play its war, which is up on the upper left corner there, and there you go. Now we're in the status screen, which shows what my team is, what my IRC password is. Uh, the team communications focus in game and on IRC. Uh, to get into Mibit, if you do not have IRC, this is a Java IRC program. Uh, you can click on that green link there. And we'll discuss some more of the stat screens later. Anyway, uh, now we're in the target screen. As you notice, there's a game clock. There's uh, your name, your rank, your team, health, armor, sector, your moves. Uh, this game is based on a 20 move system. You gain one move every 30 seconds. So uh, keep that in mind when you play the game. Uh, then you also have your weapon and your ammo and your backpack. Uh, you also have some buttons down below, uh, which we'll discuss a little bit later. Uh, but anyway, here's your stats. There's your targets, which we are right now. Your movement, and then here's your inventory, your communications, your logs, which we'll discuss at the end of the video your ranking, your upgrades page, and your politics page for voting who you want as field marshal. Anyway, first things first is make sure to click targets to ref refresh the page. Hit inventory, and now you can select which weapons you want. Like if you want to have fists, you select fists. If you want to use your M14, you would select your M14. If you want to use hand grenades, you would select to use hand grenades. And there's a drop box in your inventory and a drop button for each section in your inventory or a drop all button. And if you want to pick stuff up, you just click look on the floor which is located right there at the bottom of the target bottom left and then go to your nice your screen will refresh then there's an item there and then you just there's a, click on the drop box of how much you want and then click pick up and just to show you again uh, that's how you do it next is movement yeah I know I did that a little bit fast but uh, I'm checking around for ammo before I get jumped by something. But anyway, now about the map screen. Uh, as you notice, there's forests, there's grass, there's mountains, rockies, uh, and river sectors. Each of those costs varying moves. And uh, I will post a uh, title card there to kind of explain what moves cost what for somebody who's walking on foot. I'll cover ve I'll cover vehicles in another video. But as you can see, each area each arrow represents which sector uh, is adjacent to you, and the dancing man typically shows you where you are. Uh, you also notice that there's mines 
then there are little gold symbols and stuff like that. Uh, as you move each sector, uh, you'll have to wait 30 seconds before you move on to the next sector. Uh, there are vehicles that uh, that change this rule, but like I said, it'll be covered in a separate video. Uh, when you pick up stuff, you'll notice your backpack will fill. Uh, you also have scavenge, which means you just look on the ground for something. Uh, you also have search for hidden, once you have eight moves, and we didn't find anybody clicking that. And you also notice that there's these set of six arrows here. They do exactly the same thing as the buttons here on the movement page. Just the movement page has a handy dandy map for you so you know where you're going. If you already know where you're going, because you're used to the map, you can use the arrows to the left. And they'll highlight for you when you're able to move. So uh, that's up to you on which preference you have. So let's go ahead and move southwest to uh, OHL guard post and see if we can find something to shoot at. While we're waiting for our move, move timer, uh, here's your status screen some more. You'll notice there's your name, your rank. Uh, you have five skill slots and then how many ups you have remaining. Uh, you also notice that there's FM stuff down below your, on your stat screen. They give important orders and stuff, and they're upgraded constantly. Also, on the target screen, you have enemy near, comms, and uh, message box. And now we're in the comms screen. Uh, you can send a taunt, you can send messages, and stuff like that. Uh, pretty much click the drop box for a player on the taunt, and then so one of the five taunts and then taunt. So there you go. We taunted somebody on Team OHL, so uh, we have to still wait for our timer. As you notice, every 30 seconds one move comes up, so uh, we have to wait for our moves to build up a bit. And once we finally have enough to walk, you might want to save some for extra. Anyway, it looks like there's a uh, repair truck out there, so let's go ahead and try to throw a grenade at it, but we missed. So let's select our handy dandy M14. You notice that there's attack buttons there now on the target screen. And that we shot them. But now we have to wait 30 seconds. And there's our 30 seconds to move. Now you notice that it'll confirm your screen for you. And you notice that since we shot somebody, we gained some ups for it. And like I said, we'll talk about the up screen in a later video. But for right now, just shoot and stuff. And you notice the enemy near and under attack messages are popping up. So we'll go ahead and uh, just kind of fail shoot them, but we didn't. And in case you die and you don't like how your stats are set up, you can click respawn. Uh, do not respawn every time you die. Uh, only save that for in case your team needs you for something else, because there is team revival in the game. But in case you do need to respawn, click the respawn button and then click please respawn me in a, as a password thing to uh, respawn. Here's the log page that shows your attacks, uh, attacks on you. Uh, it'll show what weapons they hit you with, what teams they hit you with. It'll also tell you what moves people have done on you, uh, what your accuracy score is. Uh, you notice down here on the way bottom left there, there's an execution timer. But anyway, uh, let's go ahead and uh, call it a video. So I'll see you next time. Uh, thank you.